wind is really crazy today. It's probably like 35 mile an hour gusts or better. It's not that crazy for here, but for during harvest, a little bit nervous. A good tailwind to push a lot of material back onto the engine in one of these and engines run hot, turbos spool up and they get hot. Start putting too much chaff onto a turbo manifold and you might get a fire. Here goes a purple trick. It's one of our 10 wheels, 10 wheelers. Perry, they call it. He's down off to relief elevator. If you look behind him, then you see the more dust. That's the other combines. If I slow it down, you'll be able to see the other combines that aren't ours. Here's ours right here. There's another one behind me. You can see the dust from him. She's a dangerous day to be cutting wheat. Not just because it's hard to get the wheat into my bank out, because you pour it in this side, it's coming over and flying out the other side. Yeah, there's another combine over there. They're unloading. Loading on the go. They got a red machine. Yeah, it's a red machine following a green machine. God damn. He's cutting the border, if you guys are wondering. They leave a little bit because the way the field lies is uh, it's not flat because these wind farm roads that were put in. There's a lot of wind farm roads here. Here comes Skippy. Old Skip, not Skippy. He might have been Skippy 50, 60 years ago. He's not Skippy anymore. Can't really see much of his combine. It's hidden behind all those shields. There you go, he's using the side hill action now. He's up on the road, cutting that. I'm gonna slow down a little bit, let him go. This is a hundred some bushel wheat, a hundred bushels the acre at least. We had a good spring, lots of timely rains, and this is a good, uh, good cultivar this. This is Voodoo, I do believe. Voodoo's been doing really good. Voodoo and Shine. Last field went over 100 bushels the acre. Or beyond Skip's house. You can see it like blowing his, his cover on the top. It's like trying to close his, his extensions. Those are what those are on the very top here. Or above where it says Gleaner. Those are bank out uh, bulk tank extensions. Father and son cutting side by side. Skip needs a flag too. I got a flag. It's somehow still there. It's, it's, it's mounted to a fishing pole uh, that I got for free. So don't worry, none you guys. It wasn't a good one. <laughs> I guess nothing will last the harvest, not with days like these. All right, so we'll just follow these guys you guys a little glimpse of harvest from the phone. Yeah, I'm not at the bunkhouse, that way your mom doesn't have to figure out how to deliver it either. 
So they just talk about us going to lunch at the bunkhouse, which is about a mile and a half from here. So we're all gonna stop at lunchtime and drive down to the bunkhouse to have a nice hot meal. Or it might be sandwiches. Usually when they deliver it, it's sandwiches, but when we go down to the bunkhouse, it's a hot meal. It starts with breakfast in the morning at 6.30, then about seven o'clock, that ends. 7.30, we're off the field, and then we'll grease service, then we're back out. Have a lunch by noon, and then again by four o'clock, we have tea time. And then at 6.30, we stop. And then we go have dinner and by 7 30 8 o'clock we are out of here so it's a long day of eating and cutting wheat you want to stand in trevor's pictures oh yeah. my gosh get out of the picture Gary. shut hey david <laughs> do i need to come over there yeah. and just beat the shit out of you oh fried bananas fried based on bananas. the shirt it's probably necessary are you taking the pictures i'm not taking a picture oh you're taking a video okay yeah, you can really see him side hilling it there. Look out, you guys. That's not why they have the side hill combine. It's hard to unload him though when he's doing that. So we don't have the edge. Oh, and also, I don't drive through that directly. If I'm going to drive through it, I'll drive through it over here where it's less dense. But right here, if that goes into the nose of my tractor, I am surely plugged and I will be overheating soon. It's a mistake a lot of new bank out drivers make. Well, here's a loop. This is for me. Um, I told him I couldn't be in there until next week sometime. And so he's going to get me in on the uh, week from Thursday. disc right here cool so we did have a fire one of us would hop in that oh, disc Charlie, you're making it all the way trevor i see ya yeah well we're doing fine cutting wheel on here i just don't know how to do much differently can't get anywhere so again i'm going out here to the left to avoid the chaff because one of them will be full probably that one straight ahead of me skip will be full first Skip will be to the end first. I, he'll be full first too because he's been cutting a full bank out or a full header this whole time. So he'll get empty first into me. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see it do it right there. Leaning back. His extensions are really not loving this wind. That's how Higgins auger goes back. It's more like a, an arc, like a backwards reverse arc. Okay. So I shut off my tractor because I'm about to get douched by this uh, chaff, this combine keef. So I shut off my radiator so that doesn't blow inside of me. Now Charlie probably want to get by. So I got to back up a little bit. There's one too many starts, but you know what? It's the way it is. Mark, forward, reverse. Oh yeah, by the way, don't do this. Don't back up your bank out wagon. Just drive forward. You can't see behind me, obviously, because the bank out wagon. That's why you shouldn't back up. 
So here he comes again. I'm going to put it in park. I know this is hard on the starter, but whatever. And here comes the chafe. And oh, does it chafe. Not as bad as barley. As I said, the gleaner's a leaner, but the uh, <laughs> well, the John Deere actually has a leveling system. The gleaner kind of leans with it, but it's got two rotors, so you can just turn up one rotor on the downhill side if you got a long pass, turn up the bottom rotor, so it throws it into the second rotor uphill and it separates it just fine from what I understand. kind of stuck out I got issues with it so I'm just leaving it leaving it up that bottom tires a little bit bendy the reason would be I'm full to the top this is a slight side hill right here I'm trying to stay off it yeah that's okay In a dry place like here, you'll never expect it to rain. Even though every other person in the county except us has stopped, these guys are still under the impression that we won't need to stop. It never rains out here. <laughs> 